One of the technological advances with Genesis 9 is that major DAZ original character launches often include makeup sets that utilize Layered Image Editor, or LIE. This system splits the makeup into layers with names such as lips, blush, eyeshadow, eyeliner, etc. and enables the user to load individual components of the makeup sets and then mix and match them however you like. This flexibility is just the beginning though, and opens the door to tools like LIE Makeup Manager to make it faster and easier to work with. LIE Makeup Manager is a tool we built to make it faster and easier to modify settings on those makeup layers. This tool does more than just manage the makeup, however. It also provides extra flexibility with the push of a few buttons. Let's take a look. All right, we have Victoria 9 loaded in. Let's go ahead and apply one of her entire face presets so we can just start from there. The thing about LIE is that you can't see the results until you render it. So let's go ahead and switch over to the iRed draw style. There we go. Now we have the makeup showing up and let's launch the LIE makeup manager. The LIE makeup manager interface is meant to be pretty simple. It focuses on the three maps where you can make the biggest difference or get the most diversity in your makeup. Those three are makeup base color map, makeup weight map, and metallicity map. So what happens is when this script launches, it looks at those three properties, it looks at the maps, and it figures out which layer types exist, and then it populates these tabs along the top with them. You can see we have Foundation, lips, blush, eyeshadow, eyeliner supported, but the extra tab is grayed out and that's because there was no extra layer found. If we had applied a makeup that had it, such as Makeup 5, then this would be populated and we could go and edit that. This is separated into just a few sections. The texture right here is for modifying settings on the makeup base color map. And then we have the foundation weight right here that's going to be the makeup weight and the metallicity. You'll see here that with foundation, we have the texture section active because there is a texture and we can disable that if we want and that just removes the foundation texture from there. That looks a little funny. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but if you wanted to get rid of the foundation, then you could actually go in and do the foundation weight. If you disable that weight there, now you can see through the skin, or see through to the skin where her freckles and everything are. There's no foundation layer anymore um, that is active. Now, if you don't want to go that extreme, of course, you can go and just leave it enabled, but maybe drop your transparency down. So this can be done with any of the other settings. If I go to eyeshadow, again, I can go in, I can control how opaque the eyeshadow is. And then you'll notice that uh, on eyeshadow we have metallicity so we can go ahead and let's crank it back up so we can see it and then we have metallicity at 50 percent let's just go to 100 so we can really see what's going on okay got a little more metallic uh, you can disable it or whatever it's kind of cool to give you that control over the metallicity let's go back to uh, let's see blush is a great one to play with right here okay the blush is pretty subtle what if I want to adjust the color of the blush? You can see that the blush color section is disabled and it has a little create button. The reason it is disabled and has this create button is because uh, layers in LIE, if they have a map assigned to them, they cannot have color adjustments done. So what we're doing is we're creating a new layer type. Uh, we're, if you cr click this button, it'll create a layer called blush color and it will grab the uh, image from the makeup weight property and use that as a mask so that it is applying directly over where the blush is showing through. What's cool with this is then I can change the color and it's going to apply just where the blush is already on and then we can play with its opacity a little bit. And now we've been able to change the color just slightly. And we can disable that at any point, uh, just to go back to the original. Now we also did the same approach with Metallicity. 
if we create blush metallicity, it is again going to grab the weight map from the makeup weight for blush, and it'll put that on a layer in metallicity. So it's kind of cool. It's not We're not just giving you access to modifying settings. We're also creating new opportunities for you to mix and match and blend. I'm going to go ahead and accept this. And I want to show you how the extra one works. Let's just load the extra layer. And launch our script again. With the extra tab now active, we can come in here and we can start messing around with it, such as creating a color layer. This is actually a great situation for disabling the texture layer uh, because now if we set the color and then we start playing with the opacity, it will be blending with the texture. But if you disable the texture, it wouldn't be a problem anymore. It would blend directly to the skin. And of course we can enable metallicity So there you have it. LIE Makeup Manager makes it quick and easy to work with Daz's LIE Makeup System. Plus, we also introduce new features to add even more diversity and flexibility. We hope you enjoy.